I mean, what's up everybody? It's Sai, and I'm sick today, but I thought I'd do this tutorial because I saw um, this other tutorial on how to do um, drips, like of this, these ones, and it's a, it's a good tutorial, I guess, if you just want to bust them out quick and simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your color, and I'm probably talking really fast, but um, but I it was I've done this tutorial three times and it was super long so yeah um you're gonna just gonna get your color with your brush tool you're gonna click hold shift drag down and that's how they that's how some people and then they like click like that sh click shift hold down that's how some people do their drips I do mine like this how I do that is I'm going to be new. Okay, paint bucket tool, black, there. I'm gonna unlock my background. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna apologize right now for if my um, voice doesn't sync up with my actions. That's because I have no idea what is up with this screen recorder, but um, yeah. So, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get this. This is how I do my drips. I found this on the internet. And if you could find something like this, it works really great. So, you're just going to go magic eraser, delete your white background. And today I will use this green one right here. So, I use the red one for this one right here. Not those of these. So, I'm going to use the green one. So, you're just going to drag this out. <laughs> Sorry about that. And, um, oh jumping ahead here you're gonna create new layer text and type in in a different color what you want so drip drip like that so um, make it a little bit bigger and that's good right there so you do that. Make sure you have it exactly how big and what word you want. Because once you do this next step, there's no changing or editing it with the text tool. So or doing the size like this. Like the only other way you'll be able to do size is like this with the free transform and everything. So yeah, you're gonna right click and you're going to rasterize type and what that does is it makes it a transparent everything but this so it like kind of creates its own image out of the text it's a complete different image <laughs> so you're going to get your drips and with your move tool drag them in and Today I'm going to be using this green one, so I'm just going to delete everything other than the green one. <clears throat> and then because I want, I might be able to be using this, so again, so I'm just going to do that. And, um, yeah, my throat's hurting really bad right now, but I will continue. Oh shit. Um, you go right here and you're gonna let me get rid of that because those are nasty. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on this. There's a D right here. So I'm gonna move this under that and I'm gonna make these like. Um, a little bit bigger, so right there looks good. I'm gonna do this really quick. Oh, so and I'm just gonna most likely use um uh, use it on this R. No, yeah, I could use it. On, okay, so I'm gonna use these strips right here. So how I'm going to use that is I'm going to just delete everything 
that you other than the drips itself. So I'm gonna delete all that. Make sure I got it all. It's okay if you do that. Now that doesn't look like drip. So with your pen tool what you're gonna do is you're gonna zoom in a little bit. Let's nice see it good. With your pen tool you're gonna go like this, like this, and you're gonna wanna make a nice looking little curve and I'm um, gonna you know, make selection and with your brush tool doesn't matter what color you could use I would just tend to use a white because it's the white thing but it does not matter at this point in time so then you're gonna come with your pen tool and then you're gonna do another curve like that I guess and um, make selection, okay, brush tool, color this all in, deselect, alright, okay, see, you got the going on right here, but it looks horrible, because they're different colors, so you're going to merge these down, and then, now they're stuck, so, you're going to cover them, and with your second layer, which is nothing, you're going to go gradient, or not gradient, your paint bucket tool, go white, boom, there. And then with that, you're going to create clipping mask, and that is how you do your drippy text. Drips. Drip. That, you just basically complete that step over and over and... That's how you do it. So, um, yeah, like the video. It helped you out, and I cut two minutes off this video, so that's good, I guess. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so like and comment on how you like it, and if it'll help you out. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.